Welcome in as we take a look back at the 2014 USL Pro Combine presented by Nike. My name is Nicholas Murray. I'm very pleased to be joined by USL National Technical Director Peter Meller and PDL Senior Director Ryan Brooks as we take a look back at the goings-on at IMG Academy this past weekend. More than 100 players, great facilities, live-streamed games, eight of the nine scrimmages live. Tremendous weekend for players and coaches alike, I think, Pete. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, this year seemed to be, I think, one of the best uh, combines we've had uh, in terms of the standards. Certainly the facilities, you know, all the players got a chance to play in the new IMG stadium, which is fantastic. And of course, uh, you know, all round, everything was just great at that facility and uh, the level was great. It was excellent to have the cooperation of Turbo Sports mm -hmm. as well, providing fans a chance to see some of the players that might be representing mm -hmm. their teams in USL Pro next season. Yeah, it gives, any, it gives a, a platform to really, uh, for the USL Pro coaches and also MLS coaches to be able to go back into YouTube and to really see those archive games for Turbo Sports. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Now, obviously, there's been a lot of talent that's come through the USL Pro Combine in previous years. In just the last couple of seasons, we've seen 2012 USL Pro Rookie of the Year, Jose Cuevas of the Charleston Battery, and 2013 All-League selections, Mike Azira and Gibson Bardsley, come through the Pro Combine. It's obviously a great opportunity, and to see the players flourish like that is obviously exactly what you hope for from an event like this. Yeah, you bring up 2012 and 2013, but we also had 2011 with Luke Moholland. Um, you know, we started out at Reading and then he went to the USL Pro Combine and then got into, um, you know, a USL Pro team and then ends up to be Rookie of the Year for 2011. Huge thing. And then now he's playing on the first team with Real Salt Lake. So you really saw his progression and it really started first with PDL and then really with the USL Pro C Combine, which gave him a platform to really show his skills. And I, I think we're going to see a lot, lot more yeah. of that, Ryan, you know, with the relationship mm -hmm. with MLS and everything you know and players going to be playing in the league and mm -hmm. the excitement I think you know a big part of uh, the weekend was the the buzz amongst mm -hmm. the players with the MLS relationship mm -hmm. so I think that's going to only help us, right. uh, you know, develop these players a little quicker. Mm. Well, we heard a lot of positive feedback from the players as far as the combine was concerned. You've certainly heard a lot of feedback from the coaches as to the players that may be available to them as we uh, go into training camps this spring. Yeah, that, that's ex exactly right, Nick. Um, a lot of uh, emails, um, you know, with regards to what they were uh, thinking, you know, asking about a player here and a player there. And of course, at the event itself, uh, Lots of questions about, you know, this guy, what do you think of him? And especially goalkeeping, uh, there's been some <laughs> for obvious reasons. No bias. Uh, right. So we have a couple of clubs looking for goalkeepers that uh, we've recommended based on our expertise, I guess. Well, that's excellent to hear. And I mean, it's obviously excellent to hear, see the number of MLS yeah. coaches that are on hand in addition to their USL Pro counterparts this weekend. So the PDL this year mm -hmm. now has eight MLS teams either running their own franchises mm -hmm. or partners. And we also have some USL Pro teams that mm -hmm. are jumping in with the Cincinnati Dutch Lions, partnered with the Dayton Dutch Lions mm -hmm. of USL Pro, and the Pittsburgh Riverhounds establishing their own U23 program. Mm -hmm. If you look at what the impact the PDL has had, this is just a great avenue for players to continue their development as they work towards either making it in USL Pro or even in Major League Soccer. Yeah, with, with those eight teams that we currently have with, with the MLS and then obviously the two uh, USL Pro teams that are they're added this year, uh, it's going to be really important to, and it's a way to showcase um, your talents to, to the USL Pro coaches because there'll be scouts there. I mean, we're at a point in, in, this, in this league where there's going to be lots of scouts where they're going to be able to watch, watch as many games and, you know, it's eight now, and, and who knows in the future, um, you know, we, we'd obviously love it to be, to be more, and, and I really, truly believe it will. Excellent example of that from a couple of years ago was Jose Cuevas. He yeah. was at our 2011 mm -hmm. combine, right. didn't quite make it, mm -hmm. went back to the Fresno Fuego mm -hmm. for, t for that summer, then joined the Charleston Battery, mm -hmm. became Rookie of the Year. So yeah. excellent progression that he showed, yeah. staying in the PDL, mm -hmm. getting spotted, and giving himself the chance yeah. to pro progress into the professional mm -hmm. ranks. Yeah. Paul Islas as well from Fresno was, exactly. was, a, was a great example. He was at Fresno and then got, got, uh, got his chance. He did well there. And halfway through the season, he was, he was on a USL Pro team. So um, what, Charlotte Eagles, correct? Definitely did a yeah. great yeah. job for the Charlotte Eagles mm -hmm. last summer, yes. Yeah. You know, and uh, as a wanting to be a pro that's exactly what you've got to do mm -hmm. you've got to stick at it you can't just you know right. throw the towel in because at one combine mm -hmm. you didn't get spotted or seen i mean it's takes time so you know these players will be 
exceptionally uh, uh, happy to go into a PDL yeah. situation where they can showcase themselves again. Well, we certainly hope that we'll see a lot of these players in USL Pro, all of the games being live streamed on YouTube this summer. If for the players that go back to the PDL, we're sure they're going to keep the coaches in USL Pro will be keeping an eye on mm -hmm. them. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Peter, for joining me today. And thank you for watching this recap of the 2014 USL Pro Combine. My name's Nicholas Murray. Thanks for joining us.